traffic light trick. How many people watching drive? If you do, then you'll recognize these colors. The first color in the traffic light is green means go. Second color, amber means press on the gas, race like heck, that light's gonna change. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't, it means slow down. I know that because of the tickets I've received. The last color is red, it means stop. Keep your eye on all three of these. We're gonna place all three of these into the envelope. One at a time, we take them out, and I need you to tell me which one is missing. The first color that's gonna come out is green, means go. The second color we're bringing out is red, it means stop. And in the envelope should be the amber, it's gone. And I'm gonna just show you something, it's not in there, if that's what your thoughts, you are totally wrong. Should I turn it over? It won't help, but I'll do it. How about the other way? It won't help. <laughs> well, if you think it's over here, you're wrong again. The envelope not only can be shown empty, but you can actually rip it up and hand it out to the spectators. The traffic light, don't get caught driving without it. That's right, and traffic lights are there to protect us. And God also <coughs> has his traffic lights, boys and girls. So the things that he says, go and do, and there's things that he says, um, don't do, and there's things that where he says, be warned. I'm going to give you a warning, something's going to change. And um, there's things that are good to go and do. It's good to go to the kids' club. It's good to go to church. It's good to go and pray. It's good to go and read your Bible. It's good to go and be kind to the other people in the school rather than being nasty. And there's things that you've got to stop doing. And I find that one of the things to stop doing is, is stop watching... Um, films and DVDs that have got lots of nasty words in and things that give you nightmares. God says stop them because if they get into your mind they'll give you nightmares and they'll upset you. So there's lots of things to stop doing and then there's warnings because God says be warned. Right? I give you little warnings along the way and sometimes Miss might say that's your final warning and you know that the next time you get that finger pointed at you're going to be outside the headmistress's um, door. So we need to understand that God also has his warnings um, for each of us. Now what we're going to do boys and girls is we're going to take these three cards and I'm going to put them inside my magic um, WH Smith <laughs> folder. Okay? And, uh, and we're going to say those magic words, wiggle our fingers, what are those magic words? Please, Please and uh, thank you. you. That's it. I can feel something is happening, boys and girls. Something, it's, it's happening. Whoa, yeah, oh, it's definitely, it's happened. Because in here, I've got the red card. And in here, I've got the green card. And the, the yellow card has completely vanished. Thank you very much, boys and girls. It's in there. No, this is completely empty. Look, I can show you there's nothing in there. You want to see the other side? Okay. I'll let you see the other side. Uh, it's, uh, oh, sorry. Um, that's because it's a trick, and uh, sometimes if you see something, you're not really seeing it. That's why we call it an illusion. And as you can see, there is nothing in, in there. But you're looking at that, aren't you? Uh -huh. yeah. No, I, it's not the yellow one. You see, you're wrong. It's definitely not the yellow one. It's on the other side. Thanks, Trevor. I was waiting. For <laughs> the, the kids always say, turn it around. So I said, not a problem. There we go. <laughs> it's still wrong. The other one's like that. They say, no, not that way. Turn it around the other way. So I say, no problem. So we turn it around that. And they say, no, turn it over. I said, no, it's not the yellow one. You're still, you're wrong again. And that's why if we don't follow God's warnings, that will keep on being wrong. And that's why we need to go and do the things that God says for us to go and do, like going to kids club, like going to church, like reading your Bible, like saying your prayers, otherwise we'll keep on being wrong and wrong again, but God wants us to do the right things. So again, dead easy and um, self-working.